Hello, hockey fans. Well, it's been a crazy week of news in the um, in the NHL lately, and um, it's been <laughs> it's been crazy with um, the, with the with the Canucks. Of course, they continue to have games postponed, but uh, the news came out this weekend that they are going to plan to finish their 56 game season. And the story is they're going to go, they're going to return to play on April 16th, which is this upcoming Friday. This means that the, the, the latest the latest start date for the end, the latest end date for the re, end of the regular season for the North Division is going to be pushed up back later, and that's going to be quite interesting. Um, of course, it was originally the original the original end date was May 8th, but thanks to games have been pushed back due to COVID protocols. Uh, the latest date was uh, May 11th. Uh, the latest date for the Central and West was May 10th. An East game is scheduled for May 11th. And now with the Van now with the Vancouver Canucks planning to continue to finish their season, and that along with some other North teams, North games that have had games pushed back, uh, it's been stead, it's been stated that the uh, the end date for the North Division, the Canadian Division, is May 16th. Now. It has not been officiated. It has not been officially announced when the uh, Stanley Cup playoff, the, this year's Stanley Cup playoffs, would actually begin. But um, uh, uh, but there is. They say that I've read there is a possibility that the East, Central, West, the three American divisions could start their opening rounds before the North does, as um, as those three are slated to end we five a few days in advance. So they kind of they kind of want to get it over. But speaking of the playoffs. Uh, realistically, there's about what five weeks left in the uh, in the regular season now, because um, May 16th that's a Sunday, so that's five weeks from from today. This this today this video's uh, being uploaded, um, and so let's look at um, let's take a look at what what things look like entering as the home stretch continues. Uh, no playoff clinchings yet. Uh, the North Division, uh, Toronto's still leading, uh, 59 points. Um, Winnipeg's in second with 53, Edmonton with 52, and they're pretty much established as the top three. They're pretty much established as the top three in the um, in that North Division, but um, it, it all depends on placement because um, Winnipeg and Edmonton they're separated by a point and they could switch places, but I don't think either one of them is going to catch Toronto, and um, Montreal is currently in the fourth spot with 43 points, six points ahead of Calgary. And Vancouver has still yet to play, had to, to return to play, but they have 19 games left. And we'll see, starting on Friday, if they can win a good bit of those games in hand and kind of sneak past Montreal. Um, the East, the East, the log jam still exists up there. We pretty much know who the top three, we pretty much know who the top three of the, of the four are going to be Washington, the Islanders, the Islanders, and Pittsburgh. At the moment, it is Washington technically in first place. They have the same exact record as the Islanders, 27, 11, and 4, 58 points. The difference is Washington has 22 regulation wins. The Islanders have 20. Uh, both teams did win. Both teams did win uh, their most recent games. Washington in a blowout over Boston. But uh, Washington's win was regulation, obviously, and the Islanders went to overtime, so... Washington's ahead by two in the um, in in the regulation wins count and in the row count regulation overtime wins. Uh, Pittsburgh is uh, two points behind with fifty six points. They've been on a winning tear. They won eight out of their last ten. Uh, Boston, they are a distant fourth. They just keep they are in trouble. And of course, the news broke because the trade dead, trade deadline ends in about what less than twenty four hours. Um, Boston actually traded for Taylor Hall. So Taylor Hall is at Beantown. Can you believe it? <laughs> Oh goodness! Uh, but uh, Boston has forty-eight points. They are four points ahead of the Rangers and Philadelphia. Rangers and Philadelphia have the same exact record, but the Rangers have more regulation wins. They have sixteen. Philly has thirteen, and Philly lost to Buffalo again. Buffalo got the ten wins finally. Congratulations to them. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting race for the last. It's going to be interesting in the race in the East. Entering the last like four weeks, there's, there's four weeks left for them. And the East, the East are going to finish uh, exactly one month from now. Uh, the Central, the Central, uh, Carolina, oh, 
Carolina is up, up top, leading the um, leading the um, Central. Uh, they both team, both they and the defending champion Lightning have fifty eight points, but Carolina has a game in hand. That's the difference, and that's really the only difference because Tampa Bay has way more regulation wins and rolls than Carolina. Carolina's game in hand is the only thing keeping them ahead of the, ahead of the bolts. Uh, the other four of the team, the Panthers, they're still red hot, uh, but they have lost three straight. Um, so they've got a little they hit a little bump in the road. Uh, 56 points, two points out of first place. Uh, Nashville, they're still trucking. They just got a shootout win, so they have 47 points. They're four points ahead of Chicago, who still continues to dip a bit. Dallas is trying to move up in the ranks. With 41 points, they're six points out of that behind the playoff line. Their problem is they can't see the win past regulation. They have 11 overtime shootout losses, counting the most recent one. 11. That those are th- those. That's eleven points lost. They c- they would be up there with the top three, and probably have a chance to pass one of them if they could win past regulation. You got to win in overtime. If you don't win overtime, you're not gonna go anywhere, <laughs> especially in the playoffs because overtime is hella important. Um, and Columbus and Detroit continue to bring up the rear. Columbus, they are sinking. They are really sinking. That team is just messed up. I actually picked, I picked them to go to the playoffs. I thought they would, but. It's gonna be a mess. That little playoff streak they've had—I think they've made it, what, four years straight? I think three or I think four or five years in a row. That's gonna end. That's that's terrible. But on to the West Division, and guess who's still number one? Not just in the West, but we are number one overall in the NHL. Uh, the win we just got over the Ducks put us at sixty points. We were the first to sixty. Twenty-eight, nine, and four. Uh, the point streak ended a few days ago. Uh, Minnesota Molly whopped us, but we're still we're still pretty much the hottest team in the league. We've only lost one. We've only lost once in regulation since March eighth. That's over a month. That's amazing. So Colorado leading it's leading with sixty points. Vegas is fifty six. They won back to back games since that three game lull they've had. Uh, playing Arizona helps. <laughs> uh, Minnesota, Minnesota they uh, they got fifty one. And St. Louis, how about the Blues? Remember, the, people pretty much thought the Blues were pretty much screwed because they couldn't string out string wins together. But they they are recently they've won three in a row. They won three they've won three in a row, and now they have moved above the playoff line again. They're one point ahead of Arizona with forty four points. Arizona's forty three. Uh, San Jose's getting close. Whoever thought San Jose would have a shot? Because they seem to be dead in the water with the other two California teams. Uh, San Jose has 40. They're only four points out of a, behind the playoff line. The Kings have 30 not, they're 38. They have a shot. The Ducks are 31. They're pretty much the only team in the West that really doesn't have a shot at a playoff spot. It's going to be very, the final few weeks are going to be very interesting. But nobody has clinched yet. And I don't think anybody's going to come close to clinching um, this week. But we'll see how things go. But, um. It's amazing. Uh, I'm just giddy as an Avalanche fan because we are playing at a high level. We are. It is amazing. We're the top scoring team in the league, and we don't give up a lot of goals. Our plus 50, 50 is the highest in. It's the highest in the league. We're our plus differential is more than a goal is a bit more than a goal a game. That's scary. When you have that much offense and you barely give up goals, that's a frightening combination. Um, backup goaltending has been a bit of a problem, but Johansson strung back-to-back wins together. And speaking of goaltending, we actually traded for Devin Dooney. I, as an Avalanche fan, still can't believe that. Because um, this is a guy who the Avs just beat up in the last few years. And not just the Avalanche. He had been kind of a punching bag for a lot of teams lately. He was with, he was he used to be with the Wild. He's, he was with San Jose before the trade, but now we got him. So he's so De- Dubnik's gonna be our number two. And Johansson I assume is gonna be number three. It's but it's but that's a good thing. You need three goalies, especially if you're gonna if you plan to go on a long playoff run and hopefully win the whole thing. You need all hands on deck. And plus, uh, Grubauer needs breeders. Think about it. Grubauer did not start either of the games here in, in uh, the LC because he needed he needed a siesta because um, he had been used a lot. He had been relied on a lot because backup goaltender is shaky because Francois is out. But um, 
he finally got a nice siesta. We're probably he's most likely going to start uh, the next game against Arizona, which is a home game. One of the few home games we have this month. We don't have a lot of home games because we played a lot of them in um, in in the month of March. Matter of fact, let's see, we're seventeen four and two at home. Seventeen four and two. That's twenty three games, which means we have five. We have five home games left. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be road warriors the rest of the way, but we, we can do this. And um, again, um, and Toronto is kicking kicking major ass. And again. And again, people are being disrespectful to the Canadian division. Well, um, I'm going to delve more on this because I've got a lot of info that proves that the, the, the Canadian division, what's happening with the Leafs isn't because the division's quote-unquote bad. As a matter of fact, it's not bad at all. And I'm going to delve more on that in another video. But um, Toronto is legit. I really think they are. They're legit. Winnipeg's legit. Edmonton's legit. It's just Ottawa that's really bad, but... Ottawa's only bad in the standings. On the ice, is another story, because they give the Leafs pretty much hell when they play. And Calgary can't see the beat of it all. But, um, yeah, so um, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Um, uh, no spots have clinched yet, but the playoff pitcher's kind of shaping up. We pretty much know who's going and who isn't. Uh, I think in the Northeast, in, I think the Northeast and in, in, uh, Central... The top three of the top four in each of them, that's pretty much decided. Uh, in the West, we pretty much know Colorado and Vegas are going. But we don't, we don't know who the bottom half of that top four is going to be. Because St. Louis has been kind of up and down. Arizona's up and down. We know Minnesota's good. But um, I don't know. Anything can happen. So anyway, what's in store? For what's in store uh, for this upcoming week? All right then. Um, first off, for fancy for fancy hockey players like myself, it's playoff time in most leagues. Um, Toronto uh, is in Montreal. That's gonna be good. Habs and the uh, Leafs. Uh, the Avs host Arizona. That's on Monday. Uh, Vegas is in LA, and San Jose is hosting the Ducks. That's Monday, Tuesday. Uh, Boston, better a good way to a good way to get off a get off a slump. They're hosting Buffalo, and uh, they're hosting Buffalo. Um, Philadelphia, Washington on national television. That's uh, that's on um, it's Tuesday, um, Wednesday. Um, Wednesday's NBC Sports at doubleheader. It's two West games: Avs Blues in St. Louis and uh, Knights Kings. We have four games left against the Blues, and they're all on the road. Um, battle of four to cover it up uh, later this week, too. And also battle Pennsylvania. So it's going to be an interesting week. Hopefully, there's going to be a clinching this week. I think some teams are almost there as far as magic numbers-wise. But anyway, that's my recap of uh, the latest week in hockey. Um, there's a few weeks left. And um, if there are any clinchings this week, I'll do... Um, individual videos congratulating certain teams to, to get that got in and um i promise i'm gonna do a video on why all this north division sucks jive is just that jive so with that i'll say i'll be I'll, I'll be back with that and i'll be back next sunday with another recap so i'll just say enjoy the home stretch of this insane and entertaining hockey season